Alrighty, well, hello everyone. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do a, how to do a treasure room here in Gems of War. Um, and, uh, I, I think as I stated in the blog, or as I stated in my blog, this is a non-competitive puzzle, to, or non-competitive map, excuse me. Um, just the goal is to rack up as much loot as you can. If you look over here on the right side of the screen, your, your ultimate goal is to is to convert as many many coins and bags as possible into vaults. Uh, far far easier said than done, though. Um, it but otherwise this is just a standard issue match three, and you only have ten turns to do it. Now, uh, one thing though is uh, if you can connect if you can match four four of the same kind together. Then uh, you won't lose any turns. If you can match five, though, you'll get an extra turn. So, and um, whenever uh, whenever you convert three of the same, it'll upgrade into into one higher. And um, and then uh, what up? Uh, where where you where uh you had the mouse at the time? Or the mouse pointer, or let me try. Let me try to rephrase this properly. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this bag here and pull it down. And when I do, the upgraded item is gonna appear where my mouse ended up. So, so just like that, it now got upgraded to a chest. So, it's a. This is actually a. Uh, this here is actually a, it's actually more complex than it act, than it appears. So you gotta you gotta learn to, to chain together combos and stuff like that. Because unlike the standard, unlike the rest of the game, you match three. Only two of only two of them, only two of the items are gonna disappear. The third one. Is gonna be the it's gonna upgrade into the next item. So So for right now, I'll just go ahead and follow whatever the whatever the game picks for me. Also in this game here, if you don't do anything for a few seconds, the game will automatically pick up a, a match three for you. It will it will pick the best one for you. Like if there's a, if there's a five match, it'll highlight that. Then a four match, etc. But it doesn't always pick the best one for you though. So a lot of times you have to kind of go on your own. Like I'm gonna go over here instead, and then. Yeah, let's go with that. And here's a five match right here. Oh, and a thing on five matches. I might have said this on my one of my other videos, but five matches, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a straight line. It doesn't have to be horizontal and it doesn't have to be vertical. As long as there's like in this case here, it's gonna be an L shape. And um there's also you can also do a T tape or a T shaped five match. Extra turn. See, you match five, you get an extra turn. And I'm about to do the same thing here. Here's an L shape. Extra turn. And then here's a straight five right here. Extra turn. Oh, and also, you can only get one extra turn per turn. Oh, I'm drinking uh, I'm drinking V8 Energy, orange pineapple flavored. Okay, and it's, and like I said, the game always chooses the best match for you, but it's not always the best best option though. So, like I said, you gotta. 
you have to do a lot of thinking ahead on this in this board. So you want to so again, sometimes it's better to just chain together combos than it is to try to get that four or five match that the game's highlighting for you. So let's see. I Yeah, I don't want to go here. But I will do this instead. There we go. See? And, um, nine turns left. And just to bring these two bronzes in line with each other, Do the same here. a sticking point right now. Nope, didn't work. So, it's... Oops. over here instead. Yeah, I don't I don't want to push this bag up to the top. I want to keep it around here. No, I'll do it. Okay, so I'm down to two moves left. So I'm going to start focusing on um, seeing if I, can get, if I can get some of these chests and the, the higher tier, the higher tier loot upgraded. Alright, well, well, I'm up to three. So I think you're kind of getting the idea here. Oh, I'm making a comeback. That was a T-shape. And um, normally I would normally I would be playing some music when doing this, but um, I plan on uploading this video to YouTube, and I don't want to run the risk of this me having to take down this video because it got flagged for copyright. So, and secondly, this is just basically a tutorial video. Like this is. This isn't a full-blown gameplay, or it's not a full-blown stream or anything like that. So yeah, and I got a couple red chests here. 
You're almost there at a vault. gonna do this instead yeah I'll, I'll try to move the silver piece over here so yeah a lot of planning involved in this in this game here that up so yeah I'm just gonna okay one move left so just gonna try to focus on uh, upgrading One more. Cool, worked. Getting lucky right now. All right, there we go. Now oh, the game's got to tally everything up for me. And you know, if I want to remember to. I would have used my damn soundboard. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I to totally slipped my mind. And uh, as far as I know, us using my soundboard, it, um, it shouldn't get my video flagged by copyright or flagged for copyright by YouTube. So, but otherwise, well, that's the tutorial. And like, and here's, and here's all the, uh, Here's all the cool stuff I got. Now, now doing the treasure room, it doesn't give you as many rewards as like doing an actual fight, but it makes up for it by being a lot less stressful. So, like I said, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about the other team, you know, clearing, you know, clearing out huge swaths of gems and then firing a big mat, you know, firing a big spell that just totally fuckles me over and that kind of thing. So. At least here, it's weird as it might sound. It's actually a good way to relax. So, but otherwise, um, this concludes the tutorial. And uh, thanks everybody for watching, and see you all next time.